Solark 15K, EG4 Flex Boss 21. Which is the best hybrid inverter for your home in 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market-leading hybrid inverters in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison between the Solark 15K hybrid inverter and the new EG4 Flex Boss 21. All right, before we get to the head-to-head -head comparison, I'd like to talk a little bit about what these two products have in common, because frankly, they, they have a lot in common, uh, and they're probably the, the top two leading brands that use this particular architecture. So this architecture, first of all, this is a low voltage, 48 volt nominal architecture. Um, a lot of you guys that have been in solar for a while know that 48 volt kind of became the standard for off-grid solar systems. And so Solark and EG4 have both adopted it here. Now, these are also both modular systems, meaning that you can interoperate the inverter with batteries and components from other manufacturers. You don't, you don't have to buy an all Solark system. Uh, in fact, as of this recording, Solark does still not yet have its own in-house manufactured battery. So typically with Solark, you're gonna be pairing with, with like a Discover or a Renin battery. Uh, of course, EG4 does have their own 48 volt wall mount battery, but you don't have to use EG4's battery with their inverter. Um, and of course, these are both DC coupled hybrid inverters, meaning that the interface between the solar and the battery system happens on the DC side of the system before any inversion, meaning you can take advantage of the more efficient DC to DC battery charging. Although I should note that the voltage does need to be stepped down. So you may wire your solar array, let's say somewhere around 300 to 500 volts, that DC voltage is gonna to need to be stepped down to about 50 or 55 volts to charge the 48 volt nominal battery. Now, I wanna give you a little bit of the background story on this too, because Solark really was the pioneer of this architecture of hybrid inverter. Now, for those of you who have been in the industry for a while, if you remember back to the old hybrid systems um, from companies like Schneider Electric, Outback, and Magnum, typically you had to have separate DC charge controllers for your solar, you had your inverter charger, and then you might have a separate control panel and separate switch gear. And basically what Solark did is they came out with an innovative design going back to 2018, where they put all of that integrated in a single enclosure. So today's modern hybrid inverters like Solark and the, and the Flex Boss 21, you basically have your, your solar charge control, your inverter charger function, your generator recharge option, your switch gear and your control panel, in many cases, all integrated in a single enclosure. And with that, let's get to the comparison. All right, we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six categories. Uh, each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum overall score of 30 points. Now those categories are PV input power. Uh, we're gonna look at AC output power of the inverter. Uh, of course, the warranty on the inverter, the cost of the inverter and the cost to have it installed. We're gonna look at the ease of installation as well, which is particularly important for you installers out there. And then finally, what I like to call the X factor. Uh, and what the X factor is, is a way that I can award additional points to one of the two products where they might not have a direct apples to apples comparison, but where it could have tremendous impact for you as a potential system owner. And with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, so up first is the Solark 15. Uh, and of course, the, the, 15 in the, the 15K in the name of the product refers to the solar input power. So the Solark 15K accepts up to 15K of usable solar input power. Now in terms of output power, the inverter can provide 12 kilowatts continuous output power from the battery only, or up to 15 kW of output power if solar is present as well. So that's a good amount of power, gonna be sufficient for most of you for a whole house backup. Now in terms of warranty, the Solark 15K comes with a 10 year warranty. And we're seeing that sort of emerging as the standard for these hybrid inverter systems. Now, in terms of cost, the Solark 15K is expensive, if not the most expensive 48 volt hybrid inverter. Uh, as of this recording, it's retailing for about $69.99 online. Uh, and in terms of, of ease of installation, I'm gonna give the Solark 15 plus two additional points uh, for the nice integrated design, as well as the integrated 200 amp pass-through. And then for X Factor, I'm gonna award plus two additional points for some of the unique features of the Solark, including the generator support, 
uh, as well as the EMP hardening option. So this is the Solark 15K. All right, next up is the EG4 Flex Boss 21. Um, and just like Solark, the 21 in the product name refers to 21 kilowatts of usable solar input. Now in terms of AC output power, the Flex Boss 21 will provide 12 kilowatts continuous power from the battery only, or up to 16 kilowatts continuous power if solar is present. So again, that's gonna be more than sufficient for most of you for a whole house backup just using a single inverter. Now in terms of warranty, the Flex Boss 21 comes with that standard 10-year warranty. And in terms of cost, this is one of the most competitively priced hybrid inverters. As of this recording, the unit is retailing for $41.99. So that means the Solark is about 65% more expensive than the Flex Boss 21. Now in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna give plus four additional points for the Flex Boss 21. One of the nice things about it is they really simplified the inverter itself. So EG4 actually pulled the 200 amp pass-through in the transfer switch out of the inverter. So if you're starting with a simple off-grid install, your wiring is very simple and you still have that AC input available for the generator if you want to hook up a fuel burning generator as well. But if you want to go fully grid interactive, you can pair the Flex Boss 21 with the Grid Boss, which would provide for all of your switching, your pass-through, your bypass, dedicated generator input, um, and an option for AC coupling to existing solar as well without you having to go buy all this additional switch gear. And then in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna award plus three additional X Factor points for the generator support, uh, the integrated load control when you pair with Grid Boss, and the ability to parallel stack up to 16 inverter units. So this is the Flex Boss 21. Okay, so to summarize here, for Solark, you're looking at 15 kilowatts of usable solar input, AC output of 12 kilowatts, going up to 15 if solar is present, a standard 10-year warranty, a unit cost of about $7,000 per unit, plus two points for ease of installation, plus two X-Factor points. Now, for the Flex Boss 21, you have 21 kilowatts of usable PV input, and in terms of output power, same 12 kilowatts when pulling off the battery, but up to 16 kilowatts when solar is present. Uh, you get the same standard 10-year warranty, but much, much lower cost at $41.99 per unit retail. Uh, again, that means that the, the Solark is 65% is more expensive than the Flex Boss 21. Flex Boss gets plus four points for ease of installation. Uh, again, when you, you pair that with the Grid Boss, basically the Grid Boss does all of the, the necessary switching for a code compliant grid connected installation, gives you your dedicated generator hookup, AC coupling option, and integrated load control. And plus three X Factor points for additional features of the platform, including generator recharge option and the ability to stack up to 16 units in parallel. So if we total it up, Solark receives four to five on solar input, four to five on AC output power, three to five on warranty, he's got that standard warranty, two out of five on cost, it really is the most expensive hybrid inverter uh, on the market, especially if you want the EMP hardening feature, you have to pay extra for that too. Plus two points for ease of installation, plus two X Factor points for a total score of 17 points. Now for the Flex Boss 21, I'm awarding five out of five on PV input. That, that, it's got that 21 kilowatts PV input. Five out of five on AC output power. Got a slight advantage here in terms of continuous power when solar's present. Same three out of five on the warranty. Five out of five on cost. I think you're gonna find the EG4 system, the, the hybrid inverter itself. Uh, again, the, the Solar converter is 65% more expensive if you're just looking at the inverter. But then if you look at the total cost of a system installation, especially as you scale up the size of that installation with more storage, I think you're gonna find that EG4 gives you the absolute lowest cost, uh, scaled cost per kilowatt hour for the total installation. Plus four points for ease of installation. Again, a lot of nice features built into that grid boss if you wanna go full grid interactive, or if you wanna just keep it simple off grid, you can just use the inverter by itself and still have that AC input. Plus three X factor points for a total score of 25 points. Uh, so again, folks, you know, when we do these head to head comparison videos, it's not that we wanna say always this one company is better than the other or one product is better than the other, but we really just wanna help you consider the various features and capabilities and pros and cons of each so that you can choose the right equipment for your next solar project. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's comparison. As always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up. 
Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote for one of these options or really any of the leading options for that matter, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with one of our experts, uh, or just use the free online calculator tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that does it for today. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. <music>